Hey y'all. Okay, here is the press conference for Maddox Rich. Okay, they did this at 4 o'clock p.m. today, September 27th. Give me one second. I went ahead and moved forward um, because for the first four minutes, they were just like setting up. So I went ahead and skipped through all that for y'all. Here you are. R-O-B-E-R-T-H-E-L-T-O-N. Um, then we will have Jason Kaplan, who is the FBI Supervisory Special Agent, J-A-S-O-N-K-A-P-L-A-N. Then um, Chief Welch, Phil Welch from the Gastonia Fire Department, P-H-I-L-W-E-L-C-H. We also have Eric Hendricks with the Gaston County Fire Marshal, um, E-R-I-C-H-E-N-D-R-I-X, and Chief Ramey. Communities are broken. Our searchers, our investigators. This is not the end that we had hoped for. Maddox Rich, a beautiful young man, blonde hair, blue eyes, out walking this past Saturday with his dad, walking around the lake, looking at turtles, doing the things that a young man would do. And this is not the end that we hoped for. Still a lot of answer, a lot of unanswered questions. Still a lot of things that we're going to need to do on our end, on our side to answer those questions. But I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you this week for your help and pushing information out with our search. Our community. And to all the law enforcement, the public safety, and volunteers that came in and helped us with this search this week, I don't think we would have found them without these efforts. Our support this week has been phenomenal. I've lost a lot of sleep this week worrying about Maddox, but I've not lost any with what we were doing on our side. We were doing everything that we could, and I've never seen a larger response in my 32 years in this business than what we had here with this search and, and effort. I'm, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Supervisory Special Agent Jason Chapman Kaplan, but I just really want to thank the FBI, the SBI, and all of our public safety, all of our folks, all of our search folks that just came in we're with us this week. Thank you. <clears throat> I'd just like to start off by saying that um, that currently uh, we have found what we believe uh, is Maddox uh, in Long Creek, uh, the FBI's evidence recovery team, uh, and the USER, which is the underwater search and evidence recovery team, are uh, recovering Maddox. His uh, father and mother were notified, and I'm very proud to say that uh, the FBI special agents and um, victim service specialists who were there in conjunction with Gastonia police detectives to let them know before they heard it anywhere else 
uh, that we believe that we have found Maddox. And I think it's reasonable to say that it's him, but we'll, they'll, some time will pass before we'll be able to say that definitively. Um, I'd also like to say <coughs> that <coughs> <clears throat> the investigation is not over. And you should not take away anything from that except to understand that in law enforcement, we will not take anything for granted. So there's a lot of work and there's a lot of people that have lost a lot of sleep and are committed to continuing to making sure that we answer every question that we can about where Maddox was, how his movement occurred, and how it was that he ended up where he did. And that means, as you've heard, us asked many times that we still want to hear from the people who were in the park that day. There has been a lot of information and speculation about the family of Maddox and about other individuals, but the truth is we need to know as much as we can about the movement. And we do not move forward based just on what one person or another person says happened. There is a lot of information indicating that Maddox was where the family indicated he was and that his movements were what they indicated. So we still ask, as we have for this week, and many of you have called and we appreciate that, we still want to hear from the others, other people who have not reached out to us. Please call the number we've given previously um, and contact us and let us know about that. And the last thing I'll say <clears throat> about uh, the search efforts, which uh, have been impressive, is uh, the chief and I saw Maddox and it is absolutely amazing that he was found. And for, for anyone who doesn't have an understanding of how, just how difficult uh, what we have asked the search and rescue efforts uh, to do is, um, I don't know there's a way for you to understand, but uh, it was extremely difficult to see him even when we were standing uh, right next to him. So uh, I just wanna say uh, thank you to the community uh, for helping, thank you to the media really uh, who has been so great to get the message out because it has been extremely instrumental in helping us understand uh, what happened. But there is an, an immense amount of work that remains to be done and we will continue to do that. Thank you very much. Let's turn it over to the Chief. Thank you, Jason. I'm uh, Chief Welch and I'm here to uh, tell you what we did today in regards to the search. Much like most of the other days, we had many, many people. We had 180 today. Uh, numerous methods of searching. We were primarily concentrating on the marshy area that we have been in. But today we put searchers in those areas backed up by rescuers uh, to pull the searchers back out. The, uh, the area we found Maddox in was about a mile east outside of the park in Long Creek. That area, I will assure you, had been searched numerous times. Uh, we had used drones in that area. Uh, ATV teams were in that area, and foot patrol prior was in that area uh, as recent as Tuesday. I know you, you, most of you were here yesterday and saw our, our heavily concentrated efforts here closer to the park uh, to clear that. So we went back outside of the park perimeter again today. Uh, the crew that found Maddox uh, was a crew of 15 searchers of, of various occupations, firefighters, uh, law enforcement, uh, others. Actually, the sighting of Maddox was from a searcher who was walking down the middle of Long Creek. And his partners were up on the banks. There is no sense of accomplishment here today. There's grieving uh, down at the, our command post. Um, one question that had arisen earlier was, could Maddox have been swept from Rankin Lake into Long Creek? Um, while we were lowering the, the lake levels, the discharge area has a screen there, so that's not a possibility. Um, we don't know where Maddox entered Long Creek. Uh, 
closer to the park where you may have heard me say earlier that there was a pathway if he would have approached that and he could have, have walked under 321 and a future greenway here. To our partners, our local emergency management ran the operations of our search program. Tremendous support all across the state of North Carolina and upstate South Carolina. We had specialist teams in different days doing different tasks. Uh, the FBI was there again today to, uh, and with divers on the water. Uh, so as this uh, process has been ongoing for all these days, uh, the different disciplines have been working and working very hard. I think we're. Uh, across the panel. Jake. Chief Flush, how deep was the water? Well, I think that there's varying depths. Uh, based on what I saw, the, the depth of the water was probably only about two to three feet, certainly able to walk through, and then maybe towards the shore, uh, you know, maybe a about a foot. Is there any sign of foul play? I'm sorry? Is there any sign of foul play? But I think it's a little bit early to say that. I mean, uh, that'll be something that we'll look in, into. But I think at this point, it's very preliminary to get started. Have you found that. the what's... man in the white truck? You said you were looking for a man in a white truck earlier in the week. Have you been able to locate that person? <clears throat> the man in the white truck, we have not found, located that individual. Once that's... again, I'd like to emphasize that we believe that's a witness who, who saw what I'd have seen Maddox for the last time. At this point, what, what is your investigation <clears throat> looking to answer right now? I think all the same questions that you're probably about to ask me that I won't be able to answer, but effectively, where did he enter? How did he get there? What was the manner of death? What was the cause of death? Was there any crime that was committed? Or are we simply looking at an accident? Those are very difficult questions to answer, but there are questions that we will answer. Jason, you said that it would have been really hard for you guys even standing there, and you're surprised that you found him even that you did. Why do you say that? Describe the scene a little bit more. The question about how difficult it was to find him. I don't think I said I was surprised. Uh, quite frankly, the effort was impressive. And uh, I think what was impressive also was just how camouflaged he was. And so I think uh, there's not an appreciation when a description goes out for someone in an orange shirt who's a vibrant uh, young boy. Uh, and then to understand just how difficult it is to see such a small person when they're mixed in such a harsh environment. What about camouflage? Well, I think the, the environment is effectively what a lot of us have seen. A lot of you have been out here for a long time to see it. And, if, and what we're talking about is underbrush. We're talking about um, natural strainers. And what I mean by that are sticks and logs that have fallen from windstorms and they collect a lot of debris. and and we, we typically in water rescue, we call those natural strainers. So those are the types of things that, that you find in, in this case. Was he in the lake or was he, he on the, was he in the creek or was he on the side of the creek? Can you get more specific about um, where you found him? He was in the creek. He's in, in water. In underwater. He's partially underwater. There, there's a lot of fencing around that park. Would it have been possible for someone to walk there without hopping a fence or going underneath a fence? About well, let's see. In, in that area, it is possible. That's a future greenway area, and uh, he could have stayed along the path, which is right on the banks of Walmart. The tip that came, one of the tips that came in to help locate him, we were hearing it came from a registered sex offender. Any concerns with that or any? No, I, I don't believe that's true. You said you'd been in that area before searching earlier in the week. Is there anything in particular that led you back to that area, or was it just kind of the rounds that you were doing? I, it was, I guess I could say it was the rounds. You would not believe the number of times we've been over and over the same areas. Uh, we were moving on or searching on the presumption that he could have moved around. You know, if we search this area, he could have moved around during the night or something. So we sent new teams in. You may have heard me say earlier in the week, that we had new eyes every day in the same areas. Uh, so we were back in that area. Uh, one other method I failed to mention a, a, a minute ago was kayaks. We had two separate kayak teams that had been through that area. In fact, I think you may have 
I've seen pictures on the uh, police department site. shortly after us and we, we wanted to make sure that we got someone to them very quickly so we had someone from the FBI, somebody from our department go very quickly to the mom and the dad uh, to make notification. What steps do you have going forward to answer some of those questions uh, you referenced earlier? Right. The, the, the full investigation is still underway. We're still going to um, continue to look for folks that were at the park, uh, retrace all the steps, uh, retrace uh, that creek bed and look uh, along through there to see where we, if we can find where maybe he entered the, uh, down there at the water. Um, still a lot of unanswered questions, still a lot of things to answer, and, and a lot of the questions you have, we have as well. So. Has he been sent to medical examiner in Charlotte? or The, the park will remain closed until... It until does, we it does look to you, though, from what you're seeing right now, I don't think we could say that with certainty. Uh, you, you can walk down that way along the path, along the greenway, uh, down towards 321, but uh, I don't know that we can answer that question. Would he have had to walk under a highway too, you said? There's a, there's a pathway that he would have to walk there's, there's a pathway that leads down towards 321 from the park. Uh, eventually that will connect uptown. You know, it'll, it'll go all the way up to the greenway that's presently beside the police department and will connect uptown. Uh, you can walk. Uh, distance on that, and, and then it kind of ends there right now. So, what, what is the time frame for the immediate process now? Did he have all of his his belongings, his clothing, his shoes, everything intact when you found him, or were any articles of clothing or anything missing? I, I really don't want to get into all the particulars uh, of that, and, and, and it's early for that to be answered. Can you answer if there was any trauma to the body? I don't know. The answer. Is he still Jason, could right you now? say approximately what's the distance between where he was last seen with his father and where he was found? You know, I can only estimate that maybe, uh, you know, maybe three quarters of a mile. So not even a mile. Not sure. no, it's, it's a, or over a mile. Okay. Yeah. Is there a way to get there aside from going through the park? Again, the, I didn't hear the answer to that. Three quarters of a mile. A little little mile. Just a little over a mile. Is there a way to well, get there? This is the this is the end that we hoped we would find. We we really put a lot of resources and a lot of effort, and a lot of energy into this because we we wanted to find him healthy. Being okay and and return him to, the, to his parents and uh, this is what we have worried you know could happen and um, it's, just, it's been a tough day for everyone. Well, Maddox have come to come in. Did it appear his body had been in the water for several days? Yeah, I, I don't want to get into that. Well, Last question. Would Maddox have had to come in through the park the to get there? investigation at all uh, on whether anyone has been given a lie detector test at this point? Have you identified any people of interest? Can you just elaborate on anything like that? I think that would be a mistake. I, I, unfortunately, uh, we've, we've, we've had some answers to the questions that we've been asking for a long time, and there's so many un, uh, unsettled answers, and uh, as you are all aware, we have to be cautious because we'll know a lot more in the next few days. Days, in the next few weeks, in the next few months, um, but we will not, this is not the end uh, for the investigation. This is uh, simply one more step to getting the full answers that we need to get. Thank you very much. Was is this officially a criminal investigation?
we don't anticipate any additional press conferences moving forward. We don't anticipate any on-camera opportunities right now in the coming days as well. We will push out any additional information uh, via email and the Gaston Facebook page um, as we have all week and as well as on the FBI Charlotte Twitter page. Again, thank you all for your help. Not the outcome any of us wanted, um, but this investigation isn't over until we know how he got there and what caused his death. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you know, it, it was a little hard to hear, um, you know, some parts. The cameraman was terrible. Uh, anyways, you know, this is such a sad, sad, sad situation. I mean, this sweet little six-year-old, little innocent baby. It just breaks my heart, and I hope and pray to God they find out who did it, which I'm sure that they will. You know, I have faith that they will. You know, and the thing is, that baby did not walk four miles and die. That That's crazy. It makes no sense. I really uh, feel like someone put him there. Uh, they had already searched that area, and he was not there. So now he's there. Someone obviously put that baby where he was. I just don't see a child that little roaming off four miles when people were already searching so many you know such a large area it just doesn't even sound right so y'all leave your comments and feedback below if y'all want to send me anything you can do so in my email or on facebook the links are down below underneath the video uh if y'all have not subscribed to my other channel please click on the link subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell Till the next time, y'all have a wonderful day, and I love y'all.